welcome. So this video is going to be uh, the final review for the TAD Gaming Services LLC case study. So this is section eight, right, of the uh, in the student handbook. So really, all we're going to do in this one is we're going to pull up two reports, and we're going to look at our reports and review them and make sure that they match up with the reports that are shown in the in the student handbook. And so as long as everything's good, we're good to go. If there's not, then there's a few things we can do maybe to fix it. You might have to reach out to, to me, your instructor, and we'll kind of work together and help you uh, fix some of the items if you can't uh, figure it out on your own. So uh, to begin with, so we're really pulling reports here. So the first report we're going to pull is a balance sheet. So remember back, right, in previous sections, we actually created a custom balance sheet. So if you have that custom report still saved out here, uh, you can go ahead and pull that up and use that. So I, ha I happen to have the balance sheet saved. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and open it up. So this is the balance sheet. And really the goal for this balance sheet is we're going to narrow it just for that first quarter of 2005 for TAD Gaming. And this is this is what it's going to look like, right? So if you don't have this balance sheet set, then you're going to need to go back and you're going to need to figure out how to get that balance sheet created again. So this is the balance sheet. Um, and hopefully you saved it in your custom reports. Um, if not, again, uh, go back and you can you can create it again. Um, so like, for example, I don't have the uh, income statement that it requires here saved as a custom report. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back to reports here and I'm going to have to find that profit and loss actually it's, it's a profit and loss statement sorry I think I said income statement uh, so profit uh, and loss right and so there's all sorts of different profit and loss statements we see on here right the one that we want though is profit and loss as a percent of total income that's going to be the one you can also see it here it's in my favorites uh, we've used that one before so go ahead and select that one and bring it up and then we're going to have to customize it to make sure we have the right date and everything set okay so let's go ahead and put get the right dates on here this is 2005 and this is going to be march 31st 2025 uh, sorry 2025 is what we're going to be doing here so I'm going to go ahead and run the report there and everything looks good there as well, right? So this is going to be for January through March. Um, and so it looks like we got everything there uh, and it is looking good. So just make sure that your reports are uh, the reports that are shown in the student handbook and then that'll help you um, and you can compare them, of course important things for reports and for uh, you know ultimately the the data that you put in is going to be pulling in a, in a report and so we see that here that we pull reports by date right so we're going to make sure we get the right date and set that up and so when you get your data entered in if there's some items that may be missing right your data is going to be a little off uh, or if so they could be missing they could also be uh, they could also just have the wrong date. So when we pull the report, if it, it's not in the right accounting period, uh, maybe we put the wrong year, or month, or whatever it is on there, um, it's going to look different. So we've got to make sure to review again and get those dates uh, correct, and then it will help our data as well. So those are a couple things to look at. Items that are missing, make sure to include everything. Uh, don't omit anything that you need to put in. And then also... Um, any items make sure their dates are set correctly because when you pull these dates they've got to be within those dates or else they're not going to be pulled so uh, well uh, it looks like if we look at our report so let's look at this one here really quick just a just a few things right so it looks like our our revenues here on top cost of goods sold we're going to be looking at an item called gross profit right now we're sitting at 87.82 percent so Another kind of way to look at this is uh, this is kind of our margin, right? So this is our margin. So uh, whatever we're selling minus the cost of those goods, the direct cost for those goods that we're selling, um, that's going to give us a margin right there, right? Or the, or the profit at that point. That's not all of our expenses though, right? Uh, we're going to have a lot of other things that help support 
those efforts in selling and general administrative type costs. That's going to be everything below. And then uh, we really are going to have our net operating income uh, and net income, right? So there, there are um, other income statements or, or profit and loss statements, and I'm kind of the same thing, right? Um, and so th what, what they show, though, is basically how much net income are we are we getting out of our total sales? And in this case, it's going to be 59.24%. That's everything is a, as a percentage of our total income, right? Our total income there. So that's, that's what the percentages are built off of. So it looks like we have a pretty healthy company in terms of being able to create profit. Um, and really what we're going to be looking at, hopefully, with our company is we, how do we get more revenue, right? Because that's going to increase our profit as well and still keep our expenses down, still keep the margin, uh, the gross profit where we want it. So if we flip back over, let's flip back over real quick here to our balance sheet and just talk about that really quick, right? So our balance sheet, it looks like we have a um, pretty good amount of cash, right? So we want to look at our cash and say, okay, how much do we have on hand? We have what we need to be able to pay off our liabilities. Uh, right now we have, it looks like, our um, 100 and, almost $130,000 in cash with checking and savings. Our liabilities as we come down here, total uh, current liabilities anyway, is only 13000 Total liabilities in all, including the, the longer term note, is twenty eight almost 29000 so we have plenty of cash we could actually if we wanted to we could pay off that even that long-term debt and um, not incur those any interest or fees on that so uh, that's something that we we uh, might want to look at something to compare as well is how much cash do we have compared to our um, expenses right on a quarterly basis so we have almost $130,000 sitting right now in checking and savings. If we go back and if we were to look at our profit and loss, something that we could look at is what what are our total expenses? And back there, we they were at just over $30,000. So really, we have um, about four uh, quarters worth, over a year's worth of cash sitting here to be able to operate on. So that's pretty strong as well. Um, uh, our, of course, our liabilities are low. Equity, of course, is looking good. Uh, how do we hold our equity? How do we hold our ownership? And a, mo a lot of our ownership, we have three um, partners in this uh, operation. So as we look per partner at this, uh, we're looking at our profit. And really, we're splitting that um, three ways if we're splitting the profit equally, right? So our net income as well as is in here... That net income, right? The idea with equity in a partnership is as the net income comes in, we're going to be splitting that up uh, into the um, to the members' accounts, right? So each member is going to have their own ownership of that or one third of that um, equity as we go forward and close things out. So that's something that we do in equity. We're going to be talking about that in uh, principles of financial accounting in um, uh, closing, which is chapter four, but also later on in chapter 12 when we talk about partnerships. So that's going to be part of this this unit as we go through this case study. So we will uh, talk to you later. It's been fun to do this case study with you. And if you have any questions, please contact me. Thanks. Bye.